9J. There's not a four on it, you put K up there then. Don't eat Okay. So fortunately the summation of the rest of this chapter is is on the easier end of stuff, which is awesome. But I think we should do nap time. So, my friends, today we're going to do L, then M, then N, and then O will be a review day for a quiz on Monday. Week two days, right? And then we're actually skipping chapter ten. We're going to go to eleven with rational functions. Now, shh, my friends. I have an awful lot of people, remember on the Friday before it was kind of goofy because we had the pre-spring break to the spring break? Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed it. Unfortunately, now it kind of puts a little bit on your shoulders. So I would have to put a time limit on this of like by Friday of next week. Is that okay? Well, so the following people have not taken the quiz, which is 9F through K. So Blake, Ben, Drew, Angela, Angela, Clay, Ashwin, Cooper, Logan, Grant, Eduardo, Riley, Peyton, Kate, Miwa, Lieb, Hannah, Olivia, Parker, Landon, Fiona, Ava, Kyle, Michael. Right. You had one of three options to pick. Nope. All right. And then, and then, and then, Olivia, you have... Quiz 9A through E that needs to be done. I don't understand it, so I don't want to take it. Okay, well, zero is a bad score. Let's see. Blake, you got uh, quiz 8G through M. Cooper is not here as 8G through M. And that's about it. All right. So, now, on the opposite end, we have... The capstone stuff that's on Schoology, which is just, so I know that I'm not supposed to give homework over breaks, and I didn't. Okay, I did not. Now, some of you chose to do the capstone review over break because it was open over break, which is awesome. Wait, is it not <laughs> No, that counts as a homework assignment. It's all. Can we redo it? Can we make. Yeah, you can redo it like up to 20 times. It takes the best score. Can we make every. In this class. No. Homework assignment. Yeah, no. What if you just gave us a bunch of okay. Okay. No. Okay, bye, Seth. What? You're saying bye to me? Why? <laughs> uh, uh, this class. Nope. You won't sign off on it. <laughs> All right. So, I would say, so this week we're kind of getting our gears going, but I would say by Friday of next week, if you have not done the capstone or passed the capstone on logarithms, I would say you need to come in during one of your off periods or before school or after school. Send me a text though if you're gonna come after school. You have my number, I think, if you don't ask your neighbor. Okay, so let's make sure that takes care. The capstone that is a review that it's on Schoology will indeed count as a homework assignment and it counts as 10 points on a homework assignment, not four, so it's worth two and a half homework assignments. It's been open now for close to four weeks with most of you who have done it, some of you haven't even looked at it yet. And how do I know that? Because I can see that you haven't looked at it <laughs> Wait, electronically. On what? Because, um, can you uh, check our grades? Like, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, I can. I <laughs> can you check how often we check Power School? I can. Oh. To, uh, In fact, I can even I can even run a report to see which email addresses have checked it on Power School. So I. I have, I have, I have done this. I have had parents, 
I have had parents, not here, not here necessarily, at another school called Chaparral. Um, little self-righteous entitled school. Um, I have had parents tell me flat out, I had no idea that your child, bless you, was doing so poorly in your class. Go check their And I would run a quick report. I had, I kid you not, I had a kid, his name was Will. His dad was a wow. habitual liar. And I would say, I, I would look at, at the thing, I'd say, you know, Will's dad, um, is this your email address? Well, yes, it is. Would anyone else have this email address? Well, no, it wouldn't. Well, I can see that your email address has checked your child's grade in my class 831 times so far this semester, and we're only three weeks in. That's like, it's like a lot. That's yeah, that's just hitting that refresh. How does, how does he benefit from lines? Lines? It, it is amazing. If, if there are parents, not none, none of your parents, none of your parents, none of the parents here, but I have had parents in the past, they feel that if they ignore something, then it shouldn't be happening. Then it goes away. Right. And, and it does sometimes. I agree with that. Yeah. That, that, that might happen in that like might happen in that. other classes, but not mine. But, it you but I it, it, it is funny. So I can so just so you know, I can see your email address, which is usually most of you are using your school email address. I can see when, what time, and what date you had checked your grades. <laughs> I can also see what time and what date your parents' email addresses had checked it. And and I, I can tell you there we used to joke or our chap were like okay let's we go at the end of the semester and we'd go through and we'd run a report in the math department to see who had the parent who was the biggest whoo cuckoo um, <laughs> and that was a chaparral so I can say that it was amazing you had parents that were just I mean it was like go get a hobby other than hit and refresh on your kid's grade I mean it was sad so. Hey, maybe that is a hobby. Oh, okay. You got something here. Come to the tail. Oh. Now yours? I just looked at the color picture. All right. So, so, so this real quick. Let's review real quickly. If you have not turned up through nine JN, let's get it done, please. And if you go back and you see you have goose eggs, get those done. Let's make sure we get those grades in. Let's make sure that the Schoology capstone review is done. It's been open almost four weeks. Okay, it's worth 10 points. You can do it up to like 20 times. It takes the best score. When is that due? I believe this coming Friday. Yeah. Oh my God. This Friday. Because that's when I ended the whole chapter. I'm gonna be okay, well. This is an A. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, I then, if you have not taken the capstone for the logarithms, it would really be in your best interest to get it done by this week. I will extend it until next Friday, so a week from Friday to get it done. But being that we are finishing up the chapter, we can make sure you do that. And then there was a quiz that is quiz 9F through K. Oh, that needs to be done, and I would strongly encourage you to get that done by this week, though I will extend it into next week. Get it done. Yeah. Are you available all days this week? Yes. So I might have a class, but please come in. Cool. Also, is the capstone like a test? Is it similar to the review? Very similar. Yeah. Is the review just a completion grade? Well, get it correct. I mean, go through it, and if you get it wrong, go figure out what the answers are and get the perfect score. I mean, I saw that somebody has a .67 out of 10 on it so far. That's kind of a cruddy grade. <laughs> just, wow, just. Wait, how many they, questions? Is it? 15. Is it 15, 14, or 15? 14. Oh, well, it's made out of 10 points, so each problem was worth like .7 or something. Yeah, it's fun, though. I, I mean, what? Fun. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I know we're on spring break still, but man, we can't be dropping those kind of things. Uh, yes? Do you Oh, I've had these. What? Well, thank you. They make me run fast. You know, anytime I try shoes on, which is very often, I will run around the store to see if they can make me run fast. Whatever. Pretend like you're going to run fast.
So it's fun. I enjoy it. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh God. Oh no. That's why I will not ever do that. Oh, I do. I need warm out. But not my favorite. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so like, <laughs> oh my god, your Instagram post is so cute. Like that one. Yeah, she's she's like, so so I saw that on video. Like, oh, yeah. That was a thing. Oh, Sarah, I won't be here tomorrow. As I'll, I'll be coming in with an advance approval sometime. Yeah, I won't be here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I won't be here. You know what? Heck with it. I won't be here either. All right. Let's, uh, everyone got the notes? So you're going to find this is relatively easy. Now, the, this part is you're using the calculator to figure out what the true value of um, certain values are. And you can use the calculator by graphing. And you can see the intersection, whatever the x-intersection is, is what the value is. Or you can use a calculator for what the calculator is used for. Um, the silly thing on the capstone is some of the questions we will say, hey, what is this value? And it might say, on one side, it might say x is equal to something else. And then you go and you graph both sides, and you show where the intersection is. And that's, you know, it's a good way. It's a good way of using tools. But... Uh, your calculator will do an awful lot. So let's, without that, let's figure this out. So if I wanted to figure out log 85, remember log as itself when it sits there is in log base 10 form, which is what your calculator will do default to. So if you wanted to figure out what log 85 is, you would just hit log 85. And I like to close the parentheses. It'll do it without it. So I get 1.29. 1.929. Okay? So pretty straightforward that the calculator solves it. Okay? And then if we wanted to find, say, natural log of 3 over 17, we're doing the natural log of the fraction. So on my calculator, I would just go ln, and then I would make sure I close the parentheses on this because if you don't, your calculator might read it doing the same it was the natural log of 3 and whatever that answer is divided by 17 rather than the natural log of 3 17 So you hit that and you get a little negative number, which is great. Okay, the calculator works pretty easy for you on doing these. Okay, how far would I take these out? I, nearest thousandth, so we're taking it out to three decimals. Okay. All right. And then it says 3 ln 7. Well, we could do this one of two ways. We could realize that this moves up, and then I get 7 to the third, and 7 to the third is 7 times 7 times 7, which is 343. So I could do natural log of 343, or I can go 3 ln7 on my calculator, and it'll do it for me. So 3 ln7, just plug it in just like that, and you wind up getting 5.8. 5.838. Okay? And then let's verify that 7 to the third really was 343. Yep. So if I could also do natural log of 343, notice they come up with the same answer. Cool. Everyone feel comfortable finding those keys on the calculator? All right. And then if I have log 5 plus log 7, you could change that to log 35. Because remember, we put them back together, or I could go log 5 plus log 7, and it's going to give me an answer. So I'll just verify on the calculator. If I do log 5 plus log 7, hit enter. Or if I did log 35, it's the exact same answer. So whether you want to condense it down or do each part individually, it'll work nicely with the calculator. 
Everything seem okay so far? All right. So then we take a look at this, and I was like, okay, um, can I do this on my calculator? Eight raised to the four thirds power. Well, sure, my calculator is going to handle that nicely. I'm going to just go eight caret. Make sure you have this in parentheses. Four divided by three. Close parentheses. Hit enter, and I get 16. Well, why is it such a nice number like that? Well, the denominator means the third root of eight. The third root of eight is two, and then two to the fourth power is two, four, eight, sixteen. Okay, but again, the calculator will handle it. Make sure you're taking a look at your parentheses. It's always good if, when in doubt, put parentheses, and you're going to be fine. Uh, nine to the three halves is done the exact same way. But then we come down to log base eight of 16. Our calculator defaults right now in base 10. And some of the calculators, depending upon if you have the newer one or not, some of the new ones, including the one I'm going to show you, has this function available. But before I do that, I want to show you that this is the same thing as this. When you do this, that means it's change of base. That means I've changed it to base 10. So I have log 16 over log 8. They're both base 10. Both of these are going to give me the exact same answer. And I'll show on the calculator log base 8 of 16. So you're going to go, if you want to find your base command, you can hit math. And it's log base. So it's math under the math key down to letter A. And that our question was what? Log base 8 of 16. So log base 8 of 16. Hit enter. Comes out to 1.33. If you did the change of base because you can't find the log base on there, I can go log 16 divided by log 8. And again, comes up with the exact same answer. So which is the more preferable? Well, sometimes if you have one more button to find, it becomes kind of a pain. Knowing that you can always convert log base whatever to base 10 by saying the log of the top over the log of the base works out nicely. Any questions so far? Are we okay? All right, so this particular one, I could go ahead and write this as log 27 over log 9. That would work nicely. The nice thing about this is if you truly wanted to geek it out, 3 to the third power is 27, and 3 to the second power is this. Being I have the same logs, I can bring the exponents down front, so I wind up with 3 over 2, which is 1.5. I don't even need a calculator to do that. Could you do it on a calculator? Would it give you 3.5 or 3 over 2? Yes. Would it give you 1.5? Yeah. We'll give you 3 over 2 if you know to change the fraction. This must be a woodcutter's favorite type of math because it's so many logs. No, the logs, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so how else could we find that? And I just showed you. You can do the log 16 over the log 8 very easily. Or you could find the log base. So that's when you hit math. On the calculator, on the first column it says math, and then go down to I believe it was letter A, and that allows it's called change base or log base. And both of those would work nicely as well if you wanted to deal with expanding it out. But today's kind of on calculators. Am I doing okay on time? Am I going too quickly for anybody? So basically the main thing is if I were to say, well, let's make this equal to B, I could do C to the B is equal to U. That's one way of solving it. So you change from logarithmic form back to exponential. Or you could look at this saying, I could also do this in change of base. OK, whatever one works. That's a C, supposedly. Sorry, my handwriting kind of stinks. I've been away from the board for nine days. I see. Uh -huh. All right, use the change base formula to your calculator. So again, on your calculator, I would just hit log 7 over log 3 on the calculator. Pretty simple. This one, I'd go ahead and do log 24 over log 6. 
And again, this is changing it to base 10, which is the nice default for your calculator, and it doesn't make you have to find extra keys. Okay, the extra keys are useful, but sometimes you're searching too much, it gets a little goofy. May I move on? Yeah. We got like three more slides. Yay. Main thing on this one, I put that in parentheses. And let's do that and change the base. So I'm going to do log 27 fifths. Close parentheses. Divided by log, I got already, 12. So notice this 27 fifths I'm doing the log of, I'm doing the log of 12, hit enter, comes up to 0.679, thousands. Okay, again, remember to use the parentheses, they will benefit you on these. And then does anyone need to see me do number nine? Or do you feel comfortable with the concept? Got it? All right, solve the equation. So this is, we're going to look at this one of two ways. I would, let's solve this where we could just plug natural log 78 into our calculator, which would be great. So if I just go ln 78, so I get 4.3, okay. is that it? 4.357, oops, too many, okay. So let's do this another way as well. Let's use Desmos. So I'm going to have y equals x as one of them, so that's a 45 degree angle. And then my other side, excuse me, was natural log 78. Okay. So now you have two things here. If you go on Desmos, you click right here. I get the x value is 4.357. It's a coincidence that they're both x and y are the same. So 4.357, 4.357. Does the Desmos work for you? Absolutely. And again, you just hover over. Okay. If you, if it's uh, if it's too if your screen's too much, you know, you're not seeing both lines on there. You have the same tools as I on it, okay? Oh. And let's take a look here. And then this one, if I wanted to graph this one, this would go nicely. Let's use decimals first. So I get one side being 5x. And then the other being 6. And then the other side is not 6. It's uh, log 459 plus 4. So y equals log oh. 459. I'm looking at it different. And then put that in parentheses. And was it plus 4? Yeah. So again, if I can't see it right away on my calculator, I'm going to zoom out until I see it. It looks like I can see it here, hover over it. And I wind up with an answer of 1.332 on Desmos. Okay? If I wanted to do this on my calculator, I could do log of 459. And what was it? Else there? Plus 4. And then divide by 5. So 1.332, 1.332, 1 again, there's multiple ways that you can go through it. Again, I was using the Desmos. Yes, you can use the graphing calculator, zoom fit will work, you're finding the intersection, you're looking for the X value on there. Okay? These are all done similar. Um, so let's just work these out algebraically. 
and you pick the way that you want to do it. So I could add 5 to both sides. So I get 4 ln x plus 4. That's equal to 12. Divide both sides by this 4. So I get ln x plus 4 is equal to 3. Then I can go e raised to the e raised to the because e and ln are opposites. So I get x plus 4 equals e to the third. And then my answer is e to the third minus 4. Okay. Again, your calculator is going to handle that nicely, but that's the algebraic method. Number 13, what undoes e? ln, isn't it? Same keys. So I'll do natural log here, natural log here. So that brings x minus 4 down, and I get ln 5.6. Add 4 to both sides. So I get 4 plus ln 5.6. And again, your calculator is going to handle that nicely. It's quick to plug it in. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you're all able to find the ln keys. Or I'm pretty sure you're able to do this on Desmos. If I plug this in on Desmos, you can easily find the intersection of e to the x minus 4, and then the second number is 5.6, which is just a horizontal line at 5.6. This one, if I wanted to just work it out algebraically, I can get e to the 2x is equal to 20 over 8. Maybe you reduce 20 over 8, where 4 goes into both. So that gives you 5 over 2. Do the natural log of both sides. Maybe put that in parentheses. So I wind up with uh, 2x is equal to ln 5 over 2. And then divide the whole thing by 2 is your answer. And again, calculator, put that in your parentheses. Divide by 2. It's going to work it nicely. Does anyone need to see these done on the calculator? Anyone want to take a shot at this one say what, where to do? What should I do to both sides on number 15? Should I just graph it? Let's use our graphing calculator because we stayed away from that for a little bit. 4 to the 3x plus 5. 4 raised to the what was it? 3x plus 5. And then y equals 9. If I graph it, it looks like I can see the 2. So how do I find, what am I looking for? I'm looking for where they intersect. So I'm going to go second, calculate an intersection. Uh, equation 1, got it. Equation 2, got it. So it looks like I get negative 1.138. And again, Desmos would have been done the exact same way. So you have kind of a lot of tools that are available for you. Is that it? Yep. I'm done. Questions? I need to go home. <laughs> okay, so Desmos will be always, if you don't have a graphing calculator with you, I'll always allow you to grab a Chromebook and go to Desmos.com if you want to ever use that. You can always use your graphing calculator. Yes, I have 10 of them back there if you need one. Um, so let's just kind of review a few things to make sure we are all on the same page, please, my friends. So what is on Schoology? It's been there for it's been there for about four weeks now. So it is a review for logarithms. And this is worth 10 points. As far as homework, and you can take it many times, it'll take your highest score. Okay? Then we have on Illuminate, we have the log capstone. I would strongly encourage, make sure you have your questions answered on the Schoology, and you know how to do it before you come in and do it. Don't try and come and do it cold. Okay? I've had 15 people take it. 13 of those 15 have scored the seven or better, okay? And I think we can get the last two to just come back in and do it. And then there is the quiz on uh, quiz 9F through K. That kind of looks bad when you put it up there. Good thing I didn't put two dashes. Um, so of these things, I would say by Friday next week, they're due. I would think if you get should get this and this done, try and get it done by this week. Okay? 
We do have our, our last quiz for this chapter on Monday. So Monday will be the last of the chapter nine quizzes. Okay? And then your homework for tonight is worksheet 9L. Does that seem right? I okay. think. You know, lectured on L. So everyone good? We're happy? Man.